So I personally stumbled across scientific glass blowing. I was actually supposed to be doing forensic science. I'm not sure many people grow up as kids wanting to be archivists. I'd love it if they were. I first came into contact with archives from doing research using archives. I've had a varied background as far as work is concerned. I have been a computer programmer, I have been a teacher, and for 17 to 18 years I worked in public libraries as a librarian. So I started at Sainsbury's in, in line management, then went to work for Help the Aged. But all the time I really harboured a desire to get involved in politics to become a Member of Parliament. My background isn't actually astronomy. I studied zoology at university and then I went on to work in science centres, museums, places where people learn about all sorts of different things. And then I ended up coming back to science and landing a job here. I'd been offered a place at Chorley in Lancashire but it actually had almost a year's uh, wait on me being able to take up the position. In the meantime, I just went to uh, a university open day with a friend of mine at uh, Bristol and I saw this wonderful array of glassware and it transpired that everything on the table had been made in-house by the scientific glass blowers. So I was doing my third year dissertation and I went to Borthwick and I used the archives and there was a moment there where I thought, well, I could do this, as, as, if you like, as an academic career and I might come across this material as part of my, my job. Or I could do the job that these guys are doing and I get to do it every day. And it was honestly no more a revelation than that. And as you do at that point in time in your life, you go, that's what I want to do. I think one of the things that occurred to me was I like roles where I'm making a difference to people. All my roles seem to have been that. They're roles where you feel like you're changing people's lives or you're helping them or you're doing something to support them. I was looking at other people thinking that they had all of those qualifications, they were perhaps more confident than I was. I had a, a young family and I just didn't believe that I could uh, become an MP, didn't really believe in myself. And that's one of the reasons why I try and say to people, you can actually believe in yourself, really just follow your dream. I was just perusing the classified ads as you do sometimes and I saw an advert for a, a trainee scientific glassblower at Bristol University. I went for the interview, got through the interview and a series of days in the workshop afterwards and eventually they offered me the job. So I accepted, securing the knowledge that I had the forensics to fall back on, but I've never looked back. So I went off and I got a traineeship here at the Borthwick. I did my master's course in archive management and I spent about eight years in local government before coming back here as Access Archivist in 2014 and I became Keeper of Archives in 2019. I think that my work in public engagement is important because we're involving people in science and technology, conversations about it and we're surrounded by science and technology in our lives day to day all the time now. As a research administrator, I feel I can support people and take the pressure off to free them up to do the things that they really need to do. You really feel like you're contributing to the project and you really feel like you're making a difference to people.